Well, today I'm going to make a table out of a log. We were out splitting wood and cutting logs down, and uh, well, cutting logs down and splitting wood. And I noticed one of these logs that were cut kind of thick, and here it is. And uh, it, I like the shape of it, and it was just the right thickness of uh, what I wanted to do. And for the past two weeks, I've had this drying on like one of them oil-filled radiators. They don't get hot enough to you put a piece of paper on there and ain't gonna burn it or anything, any of chart or anything. But I've had this resting on there at a low temperature and it's been drying it out. And I was hoping it wasn't gonna crack completely through. It has split and it, it dried out pretty good, pretty good cracks in there, but it hasn't totally split apart. Now, what I want to do is make a table out of this thing, like a little end table. And as you can see, it's thicker on one side than the other end. Uh, what I have to do is make it even, you know, because you don't want to put legs on it and it'll be crooked. You'll put your drink on there and spill. Well, it's not that far, not that far of a pitch or a, a lean. Anyways, but I got to figure out a way of getting it down. I ain't going to, I don't have a planer or a, uh, uh, you know, a planer. I don't have a planer, so I can't really even, you know, to get it down to the right size. And if you use a sander with high, you know, with a low grit, It'll, it'll take forever because I think this I don't know what this is if this is locust it'll take me forever but anyways what I'm gonna think about doing is taking a table uh, taking a table saw taking a, a circular saw measure out how far it is down on this side and how far it is down on this side and make cuts across let me hold it up here across across this way so deep and then uh, I used this method on a on an uh, on a coffee table that I I made out of uh, pallet slats. I'll lower the blade just a, like a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch, and I'll run it back and forth, and it'll chip out a lot of the stuff. And then I'll go back with my uh, palm sander and sand the hell out of it. I don't have a belt sander, but because that would really knock it down really quick. But I'll go back with my palm sander. So that's what I'm going to do right now, and it's pretty ugly right now. But I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, start on this and see where we go. Well, I got it down. I, I made some cuts. I measured over here. It's four inches, and I went up and I made some cuts where I have to get it down so far to where I know it's that deep. It was five and a half inches on this side. I wanted to mill it down. I'm using this like a like a milling machine or a uh, stump grinder or something like that. Just keep going across it. I know it's not the safest way to do something, but hey, you know, it's got to do what you got to do. You got to make best with what you got. So this is what it's doing. I'm doing. It's doing pretty good. I got it down to where I need it, like four inches. Might be a little bit lower on this side. I can, I can still. I want to keep it around four. Just get as close as I can down, and then I'm going to use another palm sander. I'm going to put some 40 grit on here and just work its way down. Get it, get it as level as I can because this will be the top part because it's not going to be the 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 most level is this side is all one cut straight through I'll put the legs on this side so that's what I'm doing now and uh make a couple more passes in different spots get it down to where I want it like right about here and um, hit it with the palm sander well I'm pretty much done sanding it and here's what I got I love the the different colors in it I like how it's real dark around this part right here and the cracks and stuff are filled in with the sawdust. I'm going to get those out. But this, I'm going to leave all these in here. And the bark, I'm leaving it all on. But we got, we're going to have some nice, right in here, when I put a finish on it, it's going to look really cool. Like a, they, I think they call it burling. But that's what, they, that's what that is. But that's what that is. It's uh, going to look really cool. It's not perfectly flat, but it's flat enough to put a glass on there. I'll tell you that. It ain't going to spill. But... So now I'm going to vacuum all these holes out and clean it out really good and wrap it up and take it home and uh, put put a, start filling in these holes with uh, the finish because I'm going to I'm going to make it level. So there we go. 
Well, I got it all sanded, and I have these holes I got to fill in. I I, I painted on a uh, some uh, varnish, some polyurethane all along the side of the bark, just to seal it up a little bit, and on a couple coats on the on the bottom, and on the inside of here. So now what I've got is uh, uh, some legs, these legs here, and then you can buy these for a couple bucks, and then the, the so hardware is sold separately. I'm only going to put three legs on this, and then uh, I have uh, this stuff here. It was it's 25 bucks. It, like you said, 60 coats of varnish, and it's in two for uh, bar tops, table tops, and stuff. I'm going to pour this all over. I'm going to fill in these holes first, and then I'm going to go all over. But I think I'm going to have it run into some problems with filling in these holes. I don't think I can fill those in. This and these I can only fill in but everything else I'm just gonna pour it over there and let it run down the sides and just get the drips but I'm gonna put the legs on first so I can get the drips as it's uh, going so that'll be the next step it's a it's an epoxy and uh, use two parts is you pour them in equal parts and just pour it all over there so it'll look pretty nice when it's all finished so let's get going well I got the table all finished but I'm going to explain to you how I got the, the coating on it, the, 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 that stuff that your epoxy mix, you're supposed to buy a, like so many containers. You pour equal amounts into the one container, you have to mix it for three minutes. It's a long time to be mixing something. And then you pour that into another container and mix it for another three minutes. And when I poured it all over the top, uh, usually any other kind of wood without splits or something like that wouldn't have bubbles but this kept bubbling and to get rid of the bubbles you can either blow across there or get a torch and just you know, run it across and it'll pop the bubbles but I had to keep doing that for almost 45 minutes I had to keep going because it kept getting small bubbles coming up but um, it filled in it went down in the cracks really good but it looks really well and it kept dripping I had it on cardboard and it dripped down to the side and the legs got stuck to the cardboard I had to pull it off but it looks pretty cool I like it, and here's what I got, I'll show you. All right, here's one of the cavities that I, I poured a bunch in there, and the bubbles rose up through there, and I had to keep popping them. It didn't totally turn out totally clear, but like, like this one on this side. But you can see it's nice and glassy all over the top. Even though the, the, they poured down in the middle, like down through these cracks and everything, I think it looks pretty cool. You know, nice and, uh, you could put a beer on that with no problem. This one looks like it's going to work really well. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'll probably just give it to somebody as a present or something like that. Because uh, I just wanted to make something. And to try it out, let's... I'm going to have me a beer. And, uh... So, there you go. Thanks for watching.